I'll uh, actually start. Let me, let me just start by saying, you know, yesterday was an incredibly difficult day for for the franchise. Um, it was an emotional day, obviously because of what Coach Lou meant to this organization um, and our history here. I think we all owe Coach Lou a tremendous debt of gratitude uh, for what he's accomplished here. Uh, he'll forever go down um, as a championship coach here for the city and for the franchise, and will always be remembered for that special run. Uh, that we put together in 2016. And so I personally want to thank uh, Coach Lou on behalf of the organization. Uh, we wish him the best. I think there's no doubt he'll be a, a head coach in this league again and a successful one at that. Um, and so we definitely thank, wanted to thank Coach Lou um, uh, for, his, for, his, for his work with us. Um, I think the challenge of, of this year was we had a mix of veterans and, and young guys um, and that's a complex situation that's difficult um, and um, it, it didn't come together the way we envisioned and um, uh, I, I, we just didn't think Coach Lou was the right fit for this group and so we wanted to go in a different direction we wanted a different approach and a different voice um, right now Larry Drew is going to be the voice for now for this team um, but right now, uh, it was uh, my job to sort of right the ship and, and push us in the right direction. And so we had to make the decision. But uh, again, it, it doesn't take anything away from what Coach Lou has uh, done for us. Uh, and and we, uh, we appreciate him very much. It's a totally different, different group um, in terms of our personnel, uh, different expectations, and just a different equation uh, this year. And we set out to, to, to be competitive this year. Um, and and we, we, weren't, we weren't playing well um, at all. And I think we were all frustrated with our start um, and not accomplishing some of the goals we set out to do. And it, it just became evident to me that we had to sort of, um, again, start to have a new approach and, and, and sort of a, a different voice to try to right the ship. You know, Larry, we're very, very fortunate to have him in the, in, in the program because uh, he's been in the NBA for such a long time and he's accomplished a lot. He's been through a myriad of different situations as a head coach and as assistant, um, winning programs, losing programs. He's done a lot of different things for us um, and in this league. And so we're relying on him right now and his experience right now uh, to push this thing forward. Um, and so, yeah, that experience, uh, um, 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 I'm excited to work with him on that, and just his, his knowledge. And so, um, yeah, we're going to rely on, on LD right now for, from his experience in the past. I think it was a combination of things. One, we weren't, we weren't playing well. I think we were very frustrated with our start. Um, so there was an element of that. And then you know, each, each group dynamic calls for something different. And this is a, this is a different group. And this needed a, a different voice um, for the goals that we wanted to achieve. And so um, I didn't want to dr string it out any longer. Um, I, I don't think that that would have been fair for Ty. I don't think that would have been fair for the organization. So when we made the decision, I made the decision after Saturday night's loss, and um, you know we, we went with it. When you say a different voice, you mean louder, more? I mean, I'm just kind of curious if you can pinpoint anything about the different voice. Oh, I think already. I think uh, Coach Larry Drew had a, a great practice today. I think we had more um, urgency um, and little things like our cuts to the basket and 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 different execution and. Uh, it was a different voice today, and it was a different practice today. Um, you know, will things change? I don't know yet, um, uh, but I do know that it was it was it was good for the guys to see something and feel something different, and we'll see if that um, if, if that holds. And 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 again, um, to Joe's question, I gotta constantly be in evaluation mode and see what's going to be the right fit for this group. No decision I make. Um, uh, it doesn't get made in a vacuum. So I, I consult my group. We go through our process. Um, but this was my decision, um, one that I'll, I'll own. And um, you know, it's one that I suggested to Dan, and, 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 he, and he backed us on that.